Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 182 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. We're sitting at 17, 14. Let us find an opponent. Okay, looks like we find Rip Vaughn. We're gonna play a Chiral Con here. Got myself some tea. Okay, so I have not seen the fantasy in a long while. We're gonna play a slightly dubious opening. Just a little trick. I'm sure this guy is prepared for it, but uh, I don't know theory in the in the fantasy, so whatever. I do know that we're supposed to like take, take, and then really. So he just, uh, he doesn't want any of that business because uh, I wanted him to take and then try to, uh, you know, checkmate him there. But we're gonna go here. So we're gonna put the queen on this diagonal. And if he takes, it'll kind of transpose, but he'll be up a tempo. I'm sure he knows exactly what I'm going for. Okay, but now I can take, or I could take. Let's go ahead and take here now. After he recaptures, we can go ahead and pin this. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Is that good though? Let's go here. Let's, uh, if he takes, we'll take here. Playing very, very provocative. Knight out to protect the pawn. Of course, of course. So I could take. And he could take either way. If he takes with the queen, then we're kind of, like, fine. If I go here, what happens after he pushes? Hmm, takes there. Then I would go here. Can't take. Let's take this pawn. If he takes with the queen, then I'll, I'll happily trade. He might even go here. Yeah, so he goes there. So if I play this and he goes here, do we have check? Yeah, so if I go here, we would be getting forked, right? Is that the idea? I feel like we need to develop this though. So I know this push is coming. So what if we just play here? No, I don't like that there's discoveries. That seems pretty bad. Yeah, the one thing that I don't like about this is that there's this. And I could give a check, but then he goes here. And then I take, he takes. And it's just not, not the position that I really want to be in, to be honest. I kind of just want to go here. So let's just, let's just go there. I fully anticipate this move. We have pawn pushes. If he goes here, then we can do this, because then he's forced back. So I'm assuming he just wants to castle. But that, uh, if I take here, he has this. No, that's not even a discovered attack. So I can just take the knight, because there's no checks, right? Can't go here. Yeah, so he just blundered. We can take that knight. So he just tries to get his bishop out. I don't want to castle, and there's one reason for it. Simply this move attacks this and then would be threatening discovered check so we don't want to do that i think we're just going to play solid and uh, develop out what i'm trying to do is go here and if he takes we'll take first with check and then capture we're just up a piece so we can also just go bishop here try for this but then he just plays this move i do have knight here threatening mate but once again it's easily just negated so i don't really think there's any need to do that So he goes there. Assuming he just wants to castle. We're going to hit the bishop. We're going to try and trade some pieces. Mm. Did we blunder? I guess it's not a blunder. We can just go back to here. Not exactly what we wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go here? Does he just do this? We go here, does he go back? Maybe we just go all the way back here. Here, there's this. Here blocks in my bishop, which I don't like. Can't go here. Here runs into the same problem, but worse, really. So I guess I can just go all the way to the back rank. Kind of ugly, but whatever. If he wants to take the knight, it's just a trade still. He castles. So if I take, he takes. It's just a trade. If here, here, then we're kind of happy. So let's go ahead and take. And I don't see why we shouldn't castle here. Seems logical. So he stops any kind of infiltration here. And he's trying to get ready to push the pawns. Which makes a lot of sense. I think we just develop the bishop. Something like this is what I'm thinking. To try and target this pawn. If it ever gets pushed, there might be that. No. Yeah, so he wants to push the pawns now. Which makes sense. So if we allow him to do this, could be bad. So I might actually just reroute the knight. Let's put the knight here. If he pushes, we can't take, but we can go here. 
And he can't really get in or utilize that, so... This is kind of what I'm looking at. If he pushes, then we would go here, hitting both of these. Here... He does have something like that, but... Yeah, we can just go here. And this Dark Sword Bishop will not make it here. Could potentially, but... Okay, let's play this. Oh, we can't even go there. What am I going on about? Could get a good clamp, but... Should be fine. Okay, so he wants to get out of the way there. But that allows me to go ahead and skewer him. So I don't think this blunders anything. So if we go here and he pushes, we just take the queen. So let's go ahead and do that. Should win material here. Yeah, so he goes back. Now we can take. Takes with the rook, of course. Protect this. I think we can go queen to c7 and then just try to bring the other rook. Hit this. Try for this. Just get the queen off the line. He actually has this move. That's annoying. But he's not really going anywhere with it. Like, I'll just go here. Yeah, so he wants to boot this. That's his idea. So if I were to go here, then he can go here. Queen would hit this. And then here. Then takes. And he can't take back. And then we're threatening to do that. So why not? Let's go here. Can't do this because we go here. I guess one thing that I did kind of not calculate is here, here. What about this? We would just take... Yeah, he goes back and kind of infiltrate with the queen here. Is this check worth it? Is the question. Does it really get us anything? We could then fork. Check here. Then we have this. Takes here. Get another piece off the board. I think that's not a bad plan. And my opponent just resigns. Beautiful stuff. Let us find a second opponent. All right, we find a 1705. We get the white pieces this time. And he's playing a French defense. So we're going to play the Tarage. He takes, okay, kind of a different style of setup, so let's just keep developing. We'll take, bring the bishop out, why not? Strikes, we'll play c3, if you push, we just go there. Takes, we'll take back like this. Good, good check, he goes here, it's not really anything. Let's see why we wouldn't just castle here. Yeah, so he castles as well. I don't really see a future for my knight here. So I think we're going to go here. We're just going to come back with the knight. And now if he ever moves this, we have Greek gift ideas. That strikes me as weird. But we're going to go ahead and play b3. Maybe try for this. So he wants to trade it off for the knight. Pretty common thing. I mean, I don't see why I would spend any time worrying about that. Because if he's going to take it, he's going to take it. We'll go here. This is defended. Then we'll just have two powerful bishops. We're first going to set up a little trick. Let's go here. Now we're threatening to take. Yeah, so he slides out of the way. Good move. I'm assuming he wants to set something up on that diagonal. I might go ahead and just play this. And then just play g3 if he ever tries anything funny. Yeah, so if he goes bishop here, I'll just go like this. It also just allows me to take here. If he does that. Yeah, so he goes ahead and plays rook there. It's good to note that he can't actually take because then I take this rook with check. Let's go here and let's threaten checkmate. So if I go here, I guess then he can take, but then I would take with the, the rook. So this is what I was thinking. So I go here, I have eyes there, so I'm threatening to take this and have this. That's kind of the threat here. Yeah, he's, he puts a stop to that. But now we can just go back. And then we're threatening to take and take and then take. So let's just go all the way back. He's just put, he's just made a huge weakness in his position. The dark squares are now more weak than they need to be. So he probably has to play this. So the knight goes back. That in itself doesn't feel right. We could double up here. Seems like an idea. Could also now play this, potentially. But that just gets taken. So what if I went like this? But then takes, takes. My king's kind of open. Could be fine. But what I'm thinking is this. And trying for this. But then he goes here. Then we have this. Try and trade rooks. Potentially, it's an idea. If I do this, he can just go back because then the rook protects, or the, the knight protects, but that means that his knight always has to be protecting this. So yeah, he goes ahead and trades. Makes sense. Let's go ahead, take. 
And he wants to trade that as well. I'm very eager for trades, let's see. I guess he can always do that. Let's go here. I want to play this. If he wants to trade, that's fine. So I might just do something like this. Let's go ahead and take with the queen. And like... Oh, he wants a queen trade too. No, I don't think that's good. I don't think we need to take a queen trade. We're probably still dominant, but it'll probably just be a draw if I take a queen trade here. So let's not do that. If I go here, does he have this? Hitting both pieces? I think so. So maybe let's play this move. Yeah, he's being annoying. I must say, I must say. I don't want to trade those. So let's just go all the way back here. Potentially go here. Alright, dude. You can stop now. I can't go here because then he has check. I really don't want a queen trade. But he's kind of like forcing my hand here. Because if I go to the back rank, he can just come in. And then he's going to end up doing this. And it's going to be... Not so great. If I go here, then he can probably just do the same thing. Come in. Here, here. I go here. So this isn't pinned. <laughs> he won't stop. Bro won't stop. Leave me alone. Okay, well, I mean, I guess if we're going to have a, a queen trade, then it's going to be on my terms. That was probably so bad for my position. Try for this. Get the pawn going. Okay, so the knight literally has no squares that it can go to, except for here, and then it can go here. But if I go here, and then he goes there, so I go here, if he goes here, I can go here, controlling him. And then if he goes here, I can go here, slowly make my way. But if I go here, he can go and do this, which isn't nice. Let's just do this. Let's try to do something there. So the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is this. So maybe I go here, just to keep an eye on these for one, but not allow him to go there. Yeah, I didn't want that. But I think I can just go here. If he pushes, I would take. And if he takes, then I take. And I'm happy. That's also not bad. Okay, he attacks it again. So we're gonna take. He's gonna go there. That would blunder a fork. Don't necessarily want to give him this tempo. So what if I just go here? No, we always need to be protecting this now. Maybe we slide back one square. So if I go here, always protecting this. If he comes in, he wants to get to this, but we can always just go here. I thought the knight wanted to go there, so that's a little bit uh, surprising, to say the least. I'm going to go here. I'm not, what I want to do is I want to split these pawns. So it goes there. So if I go here, he can push. Now let's go here. We're threatening to go here, pin the, pin the knight, but not only just pin the knight, centralize it. Maybe that's not so great, because then he can just move. I think I want to trade his bishop off, because his bishop's very strong there. It was controlling my king. Knight there. So, he wants to come in. We're going to give him a check, and then bring the king forward to here, so that he cannot jump in. That weakens this. So I'm thinking like something like that. But if I go here, then he can take. Here, here, here. He can't come in. If I go here, he goes here. So here, can he do anything? Jump back, check. Here, takes. Push, here, takes, here. Here, push, takes. Threatening to go like this. So he wants to go here. We're going to do the same thing. Except for we actually blundered. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Good job, good job. Yeah, that was a big blunder. Now, my only hope is a draw. I had to play king down first. I don't know what I was thinking. Just take and then just come here. Push the pawn. He doesn't really have many great moves, except for that one. Yeah, but if I go here, he can just do this. And if I go backwards, he can just infiltrate. Yeah. Nice one. You can just go here, right? No. No, he just gets... Oh my gosh. Yeah, we just made one fatal mistake. Now he can just shoulder me. <laughs> it's so funny. 
Yeah, GG's. Well played. It's a bit frustrating, but uh, we we literally just blundered a pawn for no reason. So let's take a look at that first game. Played with an 84.5 versus his 76.1. Fantasy, we go here. This is a miss. So like taking is the right idea, but this is this is what you do. You go here and basically, you know, if they take the second pawn, you go here. And if they play this, then there's actually just mate and two. So that's kind of like the trap. So what they're supposed to do, because you're threatening to take the knight, is they're supposed to go here to protect from this. A lot of people go here. And then you're supposed to go check. He has to go here. Then you're supposed to take rook here. Yeah, because the whole, whole idea is like, if you just, I don't know, don't do anything, develop, like they, they're gonna hit you with this. It's pretty unpleasant. Anyways, play on. And then my opponent just blunders. It is what it is, it happens. I had a performance ELO of 1950 versus his 1350. Second game, my opponent played very, very good. So he played with a 95.5% accuracy versus my 87.5. And like right here is where I had the biggest advantage which is plus one, and I missed something. So it's supposed to go here. It, it was a very equal game, like throughout the whole game. So just kind of back and forth. Very, very drosh. He forces a queen trade, and then, you know, we get into this position, and I just, I just blunder, and there's no winning this. Like, I just, I lost the game with that one blunder. I simply i don't know why i i had this all planned i was gonna go here right like even though i guess that's a mistake oh because you let the king in but my plan was like to go like this it's not as big of a blunder apparently i'm supposed to play this move and after here we take he takes does he take with that yeah he takes like that and then i'm supposed to just sit around it's very drosh but yeah we we just messed up we made Made a blunder. It is what it is. Um, props my opponent. He played a phenomenal game. Had a performance yellow of 2450 versus my 2050. If you enjoyed the video today, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all that great stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow.